2K just had a community day for NBA 2K25. A whole bunch of creators got to play the game early. They made a build, they played Triple Threat Park, they played Quick Game, and they played the WNBA. Now, community day is where a whole bunch of creators, 100 content creators, get to play the game early. Now, I didn't get invited, but hey, you know, it is what it is, man. We gotta keep grinding, baby. But here are some important dates to note. August 27th and then August 28th. So August 27th, they get to drop my team content, play now content, uh, learn 2K, and I think the WNBA content on August 27th. And then August 28th, they get to drop their builds. So everybody, all the content creators that went out there, they get to drop their builds. And y'all gonna see a lot of builds August 28th. So make sure to be on the lookout on YouTube. But here are some things that I learned about everything that went down that day. Uh, so you went to community day, you get a jersey, you get a controller, you get a shirt, and here are some pins that you get. Now you're probably saying pins, but look, look at these pins, man. You get elite, rise, and top 10. So all of that is coming back to 2K25. And then you see this goat, right? This goat right here is the top rep symbol okay this is the top rep symbol i know they showed it in my team but i don't know if this could be the top rep symbol for park so yeah y'all be on the lookout for that and also if y'all didn't know my team gets rep my team gets rep in the game also it's not just park so yes another thing that i've seen is a whole bunch of gameplay news man a whole bunch of people saying on twitter look at this the builder this uh, Uncle Demi just shrinking players, bro. So a lot of builder news is coming out. A lot of people talking about their builds and stuff. Look what Koza said. Small guards looked really good. Okay, he said they're definitely pushing for us to run more diverse lineups in terms of height. So they talking about smaller builds, man. A lot of people are talking about small builds coming back to the game. So another tweet is. A Cardi said, Demi Gods are back in 2K25. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a troll or not, but you gotta you take a, take these tweets with a grain of salt, okay? But it, don't take everything serious and just look at it from, from a point of view, okay? But anyways, Steve said, 6-2 PG's looking like the wave for 2K25. Now, I would have to go with Steve's on his uh, opinion because he plays the game uh, competitive and stuff so yeah six twos and small bills they are looking like the wave man i don't know what do y'all think about six twos and smaller bills looking like the wave i know small guards was good like in 2k 21 current gen and then uh what else 2k 16 i think too. but it's like small guards could be making a return i don't know now another thing that juice man said is the lockdowns on 2K25 looking OP if you make them right. As far as them 6-6 six, six builds from 2K24, they are packed up. Now, like I said, bro, you got to take these with a grain of salt, man. I love my man Juice, man. Cool dude. So I, I'm, I'm going to have to go with what he say. But you don't know until we get the game in our hands, until somebody breaks the builder. Maybe 6-6 six, six builds are back. Or maybe, you know, maybe they not. Maybe they patched, you know? So, I don't know. Y'all, let me know in the comment section. Do y'all think 6-6 six, six builds are going to be done for? I don't think so, personally. I think somebody's going to break the builder and we're going to see something good. But, yeah, another tweet from my man EJ. He said, oh, my God, 6-3 guard builds are going to be so tough. Now, if a whole bunch of people are saying that these small builds is looking good, then I'm gonna just have to go with it. Like, if if somebody tells me, hey, don't cross the street, there's a bear over there. If 20 people tell me that, then I'm gonna I'm believe them. So right here, I'm believing them that they saying small builds is looking like they back. All right, I, that's just me. Now, Lily said, everyone is talking about guards, but six, nine bigs are back though. Now, uh, as far as these 6'9 and 6'8 builds, like these builds is, have always been good. 6'8s have been good for the longest, since 20, since freaking 19. Like the, these big builds have always been good. So yeah, I don't I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about 
Six Six is being packed up, supposedly. Small builds is coming back. Six Nines are looking good. I don't know. It, it, it seems like they focused more on gameplay this year. I could be wrong. I don't know. I, like, I, I hope they focus more on gameplay this year. But that's what it's looking like. It's looking like small builds are definitely good. Hopefully, they can hold up against a 6-6. Six, six, but I doubt it because y'all know when the defense comes, them small builds be lacking. Now, if it's with offense, then yeah, I understand the small builds were really good. But when it comes to defense, the small builds do be lacking. Uh, so another thing that got leaked over the last couple of days is, I don't know if y'all seen this, but I think the park and, or, or street ball got leaked. This could be what the park looks like, y'all. Take a look right there. Look at that. All right, that looked like a street ball court, but this looked like the park right there. That, that brown scenery looks like the park. Take a look at this right there. Look at that. I don't like that look like the park to me. Let me know what y'all think about that being leaked. Do y'all, <clears throat> excuse me, do y'all think that's the park or street ball? I don't know. But yeah, some more news is uh, we're gonna go over some my team news. Now, the thing about my team, it does look pretty good. My team, I'm kind of excited about it this year. Like, I, I don't usually be excited about my team, but this year, I'm excited because I don't know if y'all seeing right now, but this is where my team gets to play. My team gets to play in Old Rivet City. Yes, we get to play in the Old Rivet City. This is going to be triple threat. My team in the park. So what you do is you can come around here with your my player, use your jetpack, have a lion, maybe have a goat cart. You can bring all that here. And then once you hop on the spot, you turn into you. Uh, you can pick your my team card. So your my team player is going to be playing in a park setting. It's not going to be like in a arena or anything like that. So it's going to be out in the open in the park. So that's that is a uh, that's a W. I don't know, man. I, like I said, I, I usually don't get excited for my team, but this year I'm really excited just because I get to hear the sound of the net from Rivet City, man. I haven't heard that net sound since like 2K16, bro. So it's been a it's been a good like nine nine something years, bro. Like it's been up there. But if y'all look at this also, this got leaked, man. Uh, this is what your player banner looks like on 2K25. You see numbers, and then at the bottom it says Allen Iverson. That's his my team card. And then on the right, that is your rep. Yes, my team gets a rep this year. That's another W for my team. Let me know what y'all think, man. What do y'all like? What do y'all hate about this upcoming 2K? I, I feel like they focus more on gameplay, which is a good thing. I've also heard that Jamal Murray got taken out of the game. I don't know. It could it could be a, a season reward or something like that. So I, I don't know. We, we just got to take in all this information with a grain of salt and wait. But let me know in the comment section what y'all like about the game.